My guy Greenlight just tweeted out, why am I hearing no season 8? He's pretty much talking about the NBA 2K League. There's been rumors going around that there will not be a season 8, there will not be an NBA 2K League next year. And pretty much these rumors have been circling a lot since last year. I even made a video on this last year, guys, about how ad drop might be bad and how like the higher ups in the league kind of like, like 3v3 a lot. And a lot of people will be like, yo, you're just paranoid, just like, you know, you're overthinking it. But it makes sense if you think about it. Now, before I get to you, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. I love you guys. And whatever I say about the league and people in general in this video is my opinions. And I love the league. The league changed my life. I wouldn't be here without the league. So shout out to the 2K League, man. Nothing, no ill will, nothing like that. But just giving out my opinions. And pretty much last year, I made a video on this, uh, how why the ad drop is bad. And me and Tox, I think he's director of the 2K League in some way. Tox is doing big things, shout out to Tox. But me and him had a little like uh, argument, a little back and forth. And it was very like calm and, and respectful. So shout out to Tox. But pretty much he was saying I was wrong. He was saying like good things, you know, good points. But if you look at it, a lot of these companies right now in this economy is losing jobs. Like a lot of employees are losing jobs. A lot of these companies are cutting costs, cutting jobs because it's really tough right now. It's going to start getting tougher. I don't know. The crypto market's in a bull run. Stocks are in a bull run right now. I don't know where all this money is coming from. But that's a topic for another day. But a lot of big companies are cutting costs and cutting jobs. And we see that with the Overwatch League. The Overwatch League doesn't exist anymore. Uh, Call of Duty is cutting costs. And pretty much in 2018 when the 2K League first came out, it was so much, so much money into the esports space. I remember I was so excited because Overwatch League just came out in 2018. 2K League just came out. Uh, investors are pumping out money to esports. I remember you could just be an esports team and uh, these millionaires and billionaires would just put money in your pockets. They'll invest in you just because it's esports. It was so, so like big time, like the esports space in 2018. Now I feel like we're like in a little bear market. Like everyone's scared of esports. Everyone's like kind of afraid of esports. And it's a dark time in esports. I feel like a lot of people in esports is losing jobs. And it's kind of scary. It's kind of scary. I hope I'm wrong about the 2K League, but it just, it just makes sense that with all the companies cutting costs, that 2k league will be next because what people have been saying for seven years guys is oh it just started this esports just started um give it time give it time and the nba runs it but even even if you're as big as the nba you don't want to lose money you don't you just don't want to burn money especially like when people don't know what's next you know like we don't know what's going to happen with the economy stuff like that but you just don't want to burn money. So the most logical situation, in my opinion, I even said this a year ago to all my friends. Everyone thought I was kind of crazy. But the most logical situation, in my opinion, and remember, I'm just a bot, man. I don't have no degrees, nothing like that. So I'm a bot. You know, I don't know much. But uh, what I said last year was pretty much that if you just do 3v3, you cut costs pretty much in half. So uh, you noticed... Last year, they really loved threes. Uh, if you notice the upper management, uh, everyone else, they were literally saying good things about threes all the time. If you notice the tweets, if you just notice the energy, you would notice last year that 3v3 was getting a little bit more love. So I knew this year that 3v3 was going to be the main priority. And if you guys uh, didn't know, a couple of months ago or a month or two ago, they announced that like 80, 90% of the season will be 3v3s and they cut back a lot of 5v5 games and everything is going to be remotely. So I don't want to say like I've seen it coming, but I've seen it coming, you know? So obviously 3v3 saves them more money for the same amount of views. So I think 3v3 will be the wave going forward because you literally cut your expenses in half and you get the same amount of views for the same amount of expenses that you're paying for. So, um... On Twitch recently, the 3v3 scene, when it was close games, it started getting more popping, more popular. A lot of people were saying good things about threes. And what's shocking is last year, uh, I made a point, main example is Glizzy. So if you guys don't know who Glizzy is, Glizzy was the number one pick of the Hawks, right? So Glizzy is the superstar. He's a superstar of the league. 
number one pick. And what I noticed last year is he didn't get any playing time in threes. So pretty much I was thinking like, wow, why is a superstar number one pick not playing in threes? And I'm just stunned because stuff like that really hurts the league in a way. He should be playing because he's the number one pick for a reason. He's obviously very talented and he deserves playing time. But it goes bigger than that. Since he wasn't playing, I was thinking like, wow, like you really don't need five people to the team. Like you really do not need five people. You could just go in there with three. You could just do 3v3 the whole year and get the same amount of views as fives because no one's really watching fives. The only people who's really watching fives is hardcore fans like me. Like I love fives. Fives will always be my mode. And like pretty much betters. Like the only people who are really watching fives are hardcore fans, um, family members, and betters on like on certain websites I can't say. But pretty much I'm saying the same thing over and over again, but pretty much 3v3 saves a lot of money for the league. Uh, you don't you don't have to pay housing for two extra players. You don't have to pay salary for two extra players. So I really think the NBA 2K League is going down the 3v3 road. And if they don't do 3v3 and they want to cut costs even more, I could see them. So if you notice FIFA and Madden, those are the other sports games, right? Wait, eSports League? They do just one player that represents the whole org. So... Let's say Bear the Beast, he represents the T-Wolves. Uh, you can say Shifty Kai represents the Lakers. Then you could just take the four other player salaries you're supposed to have. And then maybe if you want to be fancy, you could do 2v2 or something. Pay a celebrity with all that money you save. You could pay a celebrity, put them on a little mini contract, and have them play games against uh, another franchise cornerstone for your team and a celebrity. You could do that. For the same amount of views or more views so you could get like cash nasty bird of beast versus shifty kai and like troy dan you know and then you'll save a lot of money but also you'll have that celebrity presence and i've i've kind of noticed they did that with that little uh park event they had michael parsons they had some like celebrities playing alongside 2k league players so they kind of already like instilling that they're already like going down that road in a way so I truly think 2K League is literally going to go all in on threes next year. Uh, the players are kind of freaking out. I see in the group chats all the time. And players are always telling me like, yo, Fab, I don't know what's next. I don't know what's going to happen to the 2K League. I'm scared the 2K League is going to be over. So pretty much I just made this video to say I think the 2K League is just going to do 3-3 next year, to be honest. That's why I think in my opinion. I would say like 60-70% of people think the league is going to be over. A lot of people think the league is going to be done over, but I think what the great management they have, they have great leaders. I think that Joe guy is a good leader. Uh, I think Tox is a pretty good leader. Black Frank White's a good leader. And then we got the good coaches, you know, the leaders in that. I think, I think they're going to push and they're going to do really good and they're going to push for 3v3. I think that's going to give a lot more people opportunities, hopefully more community teams, stuff like that. But I think 3v3 will exist, but I don't think 5v5 will exist. I think 5v5 is done completely. I think 5v5 is in the past. And it kind of like hurts me in a way because I'm a big 5v5 guy. I love 5v5. Hopefully 5v5 stays, but it's not looking like it. I think it's just going to be 3v3. And yeah, I don't think the league's going to end at all. Hopefully it doesn't because I have a lot of great friends as players and coaches and no one deserves to lose their job like no one deserves to lose their livelihood what they pay the bills with what they feed their family with like so i pray everything works out i pray 3v3 blows up because when we work together guys it's big time and it really helps each other and we just we just get richer together and just happier together so hopefully everything works out but one other point i want to make is players need to do a better job I know you guys are like sick and tired of hearing people say content, content, content. But I'm going to be honest, if you're a player and you're listening to me right now, a lot of you guys are going to go into the league as role players. You're going to be a role player in the 2K League. And if you guys don't know, being a role player in the 2K League is sometimes a really bad situation because uh, if you guys lose a lot of games, you're going to be the first one to blame. So your job security isn't really there if you're a role player. So to counter that, you really want to make content so please make sure you do content i wish i had someone like me to tell me to do content back when i was like the best player in the in the world so when i was the best player in the world 
in the 2K League and 2K in general, uh, I had people like Rico, my close friends. I just had uh, Famous Enough, Comp, Black Freak White. I had everyone telling me to do content and I just laughed them off. I was like, man, they don't know anything about being the best of the best. They don't know nothing like that. Like, you know, like I was so cocky and stubborn. I was like, they don't know anything about being the best player and what it takes. And I put my heart and soul into this to be the best. So I don't have time for content. So that's me speaking from that best player point of view. You know, a lot of you guys won't be the best player on 2K. You guys will be like comp players making a salary, but a lot of you guys won't be the best player on 2K. And the point I'm trying to make pretty much is if I could trade in like being the best and being a comp player for a content creator, I'll do that any time of the day. I wish I did content back then. And I'm telling you guys what famous that everyone is saying you have to do. Like content is big time because if the league does magically end, what you're going to have is thousands of people rush into YouTube and Twitch and you're just going to be like, it's going to be so oversaturated. You won't even have a chance. So like get in now. If you're watching this video get into it now because if the league somehow does end you do not want to be buried underneath everyone else like start now see this video as a life changer opportunity for yourself remember i was the best i was the best player in the league at one point and i would trade my 2k league career any day to be a successful content creator like being a comp player is not worth it it's not even it's not even like that like i'm gonna be honest like, being a comp player gave me a lot of opportunities but you rather be a successful content creator. So let that be a lesson to potential 2K League prospects, casual fans, anyone that's watching this. If you guys are online just gaming, whatever, just who knows, man. Just throw up a TikTok, do something on YouTube, do something on Twitch. You never know. One day you'll probably hit it big, change your family life, or you could just do it for fun. Just you never know, you know? So that's where I'll stand. I'll trade my comp career any day to be a successful content creator. So make sure you guys... Do these building blocks. Famous is dropping gems on the timeline. Tox is dropping gems. Uh, Black Frank White. We have good leaders in this community, and we gotta listen to these great leaders. So I know I'm, I know I'm ranting and rambling, but I pretty much want to have like we have this negative title, right? But I want to finish it off with something positive and think about your future, guys. For real, think about your future because uh, there's a lot of things I wish when I was in the league I did differently. To prepare me for the future but still you could learn from other people's mistakes because i never had that blueprint i never had someone to look up to in the league and learn from his mistakes is right or wrong so you guys have that you guys are free to ask me questions anytime i'll answer anything you guys have i'm always trying to put you guys first look out for you guys and we have great leaders in this community but let me know what you guys think down below is the 2k league over with is the 2k league done Will it just be 3v3? Will it be 5v5? Let me know what you guys think down below. I love you guys. You guys are amazing. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. It's your boy, Fab, and I'm out.